Hey guys, uh, so this is a video, um, actually going to be a radio video about creating new programs on a Mazak Smooth VG Control. Uh, this is a 250 MOI. Uh, some programs might be a little bit different for Smooth X. Um, I mean, they're pretty much all similar uh, once you work on uh, uh, Nexus or Matrix, so uh, this is uh, Smooth G is pretty easy to uh, convert to. There's just a couple of things, a uh, couple of improvements, um, nothing hard. You could probably figure it out uh, on your own within a couple hours. Um, so let's start with uh, how to make a program, or how to create a program. Um, so let's say you're in a position, you have your work number, single block, optional stop and such. And right now we're in memory. If you put in a handle mode, okay, the options change a little bit. And then you have your nav navigation, right? So you have your machine lock, work lights, C axis lock, connect, and such. We can go to the left. And this is your position, your setup. This is where you set your. Uh, zero uh your c data uh tail stack and such uh your tool data so all your tooling offsets and such um what we're interested in is the programs so for example when you start a program uh first thing is you go to uh work number uh, you can search your program if you already have a program in this is where you edit uh, your tool path and such but we go to work and uh, if you do not uh, have a program and, and something like that uh, comes up and you do want to create a program all you have to do is just go here the keyboard is going to come out you can call your program one enter and a blank page comes up nothing on the top you just see Mesotron one and then you see your work order number ISO programming, that's for your G code and Mazatro. We're interested in Mazatro only. Okay, <laughs> now you have a bunch of uh, type of material. Um, for, for some materials, you have a lot of uh, already preset uh, speeds, speeds, and such. Um, I usually don't go with those. Uh, you can actually make adjustments yourself. You go to stainless, for example, uh, your maximum outer uh, workpiece. Even if it's uh, what this is, it's uh, it's pretty much it's telling the machine after it's turning how far it should go up. Um, on the 250, I usually go six, even ten if I need more clearance. Uh, minimum zero, length of the part. Um, if your part is you know three four inches, I usually go with six, give myself extra uh, extra space. Work face, it's same thing. It's gonna approach. Um, I don't like when it approaches right to the face. Uh, usually it depends on the size of the machine. You can have 40,000 or 80,000 where it starts before cut. I give myself extra room. Let's say 200,000. And your Mac, max RPM, let's go 1,400. Okay, so your material, OD max, ID minimum, length of the part, work face, and then maximum RPM. And now, starts the unit this is what I usually do um, if you do uh, build your program let's say you know you, you uh, build a program let's say just doing a facing so you face then you do OD turn like outside turning so you add turning so what I usually do is always at the end you have to end a uh, end unit okay so you have your point that's uh, for drilling and such mills line that's also mill face that's also for light tooling and then turning this is where uh for late then you do manual programming then you have end plane auto set okay so we press the end now we have end unit now if this just comes up uh that keyboard uh it keeps coming up and you don't like the position you can drag it you press this little circle and now it's not gonna move anywhere also you can uh, add this and now you have a beautiful solid piece um, and it's actually going to draw a shape of whatever you do and I'll show you in a second. So we do end 
continue uh, this is if you do like repeating uh, let's say repeating pieces you do washers out of one length um, so repeat and it tells you yes or no so we go no for so zero number parts counter let's say zero so we press zero for no return tool change position so this is gonna retract to the longest tool okay or zero position it's just gonna go up or sometimes you know you can send it all the way back home to the back so tool change position next program this is if you do, doing multiple programs now we're at the end so I go right arrow insert okay and now we go to turning and now we have all the options OD turning copy turning corners you're facing your threading your grooves your drills and taps so let's say facing how much you want to leave uh, so if finish on Z it's gonna tell you finishing allowance on Z so let's say we want to leave 3000 after rocking we press enter once you press enter you have a general out uh, rougher R and finish you have your tools so let's say um, I want 80 degree tool which is automatically uh, assigned from the tooling from my library but I want to let's say 55 degree for finish so you press here an option comes out it's called tool window tool data window you press it and all the tools that are capable of performing that task comes out over here so I just press 55 and I press OK and we're good to go depth of cut let's say 25,000 per, per cut speed cutting speed 320 let's say uh, speed rate 10,000 10, M8 that's to turn coolant on and it's same thing for, this is for the finish so let's say we go 420 for nicer finish a little bit slower once this is done and you can do like M1 like optional stops and such once this is done you got a figure so you have starting point so let's say my part is two inches in diameter I will want to start two inches and a hundred thousand a little bit higher let's say I want to remove 40,000 of stock so it's gonna do two passes we're going all the way down to zero so final point X and all the way to zero on my Z and let's say we insert and then we do go back to turning now we want to turn OD and now you have options if right is starting cutting outside in the middle inside inside in the middle face and stuff like that so this is uh, how you create a program and this is how you add uh, units thank you for watching and I'll see you soon